All right, ladies and gentlemen, Fab's in the house and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm in the house with a ProTech Malibu in a bronze uh, anodized finish here with me for a quick review. But hey, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what do you guys think uh, about uh, this uh, knife over here down in the comments below. And you know what? You can also check out uh, fablades.com to see what's up. And also if you're a fan of uh, pictures, uh, you know, check out my Instagram at Fablades and look at this guy. Nice magnetic uh, uh, box comes with this uh, sleeve kind of like thing. Nicely done guys. And soft uh, carrying uh, pouch, uh, Protect USA. Look at this, nicely done. Attention to the detail is absolutely there for sure. And inside, you're gonna find this bad boy. This is the ProTech Malibu um, in a uh, reverse tantal blade, uh, stone washed and bronze aluminum um, handles. But, uh, I'm not sure about the aluminum because the weight is there, guys. So aluminum is supposed to be light. I don't know, maybe this is, uh, it feels like more like it's brass. I don't know. It's just me. But it says aluminum, so we're gonna go with aluminum. But let me know in the comments uh, what is up with the weight of this guy or if you have uh, more uh, information. So the blade edge length is gonna be 3.25 and the handle is gonna be 4.25 for a complex length, co uh, co like overall length of uh, 7.5 inches. It is a very cool knife with uh, the reverse tanto. Probably it's not my favorite blade shape, but uh, I prefer, yeah, I mean, it's nice, but not my favorite uh, design, like a blade shape in this, uh, uh, for this handle, for this configuration, I think, I, I mean. Um, button lock, of course, uh, stone washed handles, kind of like fake for uh, integral handle. There are two slabs, uh, uh, nice jimping going on Go over, over here uh, along this edge, like the spine of the handle, liner hole option, boom, like that, going through. Um, you got really thick slabs. They are internally skeletonized. I don't know if you can see. Uh, of course, you've got a mosaic pin for the button lock over here, which works like that. You have like a, you see, to push this guy, there is a spring underneath that, that releases the blade and boom, and also acts as the detent. Uh, right over here. Um, interestingly, look, you have Protec 20 CV uh, uh, marking on the spine of the blade to keep the blade pristine and sterile looking very, very cool. Nice finger grooves, nice chamfering um, along the uh, blade, uh, sorry, the, the handle, and you got a um, tip-up carry only deep carry, pocket clip, uh, nicely done. Look at that, shiny, polished, uh, with a uh, window cut out to access the two screws holding this guy together. Pretty simple construction. Um, here you got a couple screws uh, and uh, one over here, this is gonna be for the stop pin, which is passing through, as you can see. And this one is gonna be the, the pivot to unscrew to take this guy apart. It's gonna be no issues whatsoever. You got, uh, uh, you see, you can do the, um, like the, 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 the button lock like that. It just wants to bounce, uh, but basically that's the deal with that. Very nice uh, sound. There is a little bit of button stick. Like if you open it gently like that, there is a little bit. If I flip it strongly, there is a little bit more button stick. It's not a big deal, but Kinda it is because uh, it's uh, not like if you flip it hard, yeah, I mean, you still manage, you can manage to do it. Maybe with time it's gonna uh, get away. I don't know because this is um, a loner. I need actually to thank my buddy um, Matt to sending this guy along so I'm able to share my impressions with you. Let's quickly check the weight on this fella because it feels kinda heavy to be like an aluminum handle knife. Uh, but let me know again, what do you guys think? Because this is 5.12 ounces, doesn't make any sense. Uh, I mean, uh, I, I don't think aluminum is that heavy. So, but maybe it's just me that I'm tripping. So let me know. Uh, overall, this is a very cool knife, nicely done. Ergos are pretty good, no 
uh, hot spots going on whatsoever. A little bit of hot um, of lock uh, button stick. Sorry, uh, not not so sure about the uh, tanto shape. Uh, it weighs a little bit much, but I love the handle. It, it, it has nice design and nice uh, design lines and especially this detail here on the uh, button lock is pretty cool. Hey, if you want to know more, please check out my full length review and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned.